Hi everyone, welcome to chapter 2 entitled Cell. First, let's define what cell is. In general biology, a cell is defined as fundamental living unit of all organisms as it exhibits the basic characteristics of life. We have three statements under cell theory. All living things are made up of cells. It is the basic structure and function of all living things. And lastly, all cells come only from the pre-existing cells. We have five levels under biological organizations, from cell to tissue, from tissue to organ, from organ to organ system, and from organ system to organism. So cell is composed of a group of organelles, which refer to small organs. Then tissue is composed of a group of cells. Then we have stomach, which refers to organ, is composed of a group of tissues. Then we have organ system, such as digestive system, is composed of a group of organs. Then we have organism, which is composed of a group of organ systems. And here we'll be talking about plant cell and animal cell. We'll be talking about organelles present in plant cell and organelles present only in animal cell. And also organelles present in both plant cell and animal cell. So first, let's talk about cell membrane. Cell membrane or plasma membrane encloses and protects the entire cell. It is triple layer containing protein and lipids. It is the outer covering of the cell, present in both animal and plant cell, and it has semi-permeable layer. What do you mean by semi-permeable? It selects chemical that pass in and out of the cell. If the substance is beneficial, come in. If not, or toxic, get out. Next organelle, cytoplasm. Present in both animal and plant cell. Cytoplasm is the protoplasm outside the nucleus. It contains several structures and cells organelles such as endoplasmic reticulum, Golgi body, mitochondria, lysosome, and a vacuole. Cellular organelles are suspended on it. It is the fluid matrix that fills the cell. Next organelle, Nucleus. Nucleus is the control center of the cell. It is the house for the most of cell's genetic materials. This is the largest and one of the most structural areas. It plays the central role in cellular reproduction and conjunction with the environment. Also in determining what sort of differentiation of cell undergo and what form it will exhibit a maturity. It also directs the metabolic activities of living cell. Next organelle, endoplasmic reticulum. Endoplasmic reticulum is a system of membrane and closed canal forming in a network in the cytoplasm. It serves as route of transport for the material within the cell. Endoplasmic reticulum is also known as the transport system of the cell. There are two types of endoplasmic reticulum. We have rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Rough endoplasmic reticulum are lined on their outer surfaces by small particles called ribosomes, while smooth endoplasmic reticulum lacks ribosomes. Next, we have ribosomes. Ribosome is a particle that is present in large numbers in all living cells and serves as the site of protein synthesis. Ribosomes occur both as three particles in prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells and as particles attached to the membranes of the rough endoplasmic reticulum in eukaryotic cells. Next in line, Golgi body. Golgi body is the packaging center of the cell. It consists of system of membrane enclosed vesicles arranged parallel to each other. Golgi body is involved in the secretion of several chemical products 
membrane repair and transport of materials in and out of the cell. It modifies and packages the product produced by the cell to make them functional. Next in line, vacuoles. Vacuoles are the storage center of the cell. Storage for excess food and water. Vacuoles are membrane and closed cavities filled with either fluid or granular material. Some vacuoles expel excess water and waste from the cell, which are called contractile vacuoles. Food vacuoles contain food particles. Next in line, mitochondria. Mitochondria are the main energy source of the cell. They are the powerhouse of the cell because adenotriphosphate or ATP is created here. They appeared as rounded cylinders enclosed by membranes. They are sites of medical chemical reactions that extract energy from food and later use as energy for the activities of the cell. Next in line, chloroplast. Chloroplast is only present in plant cells. It contains chlorophyll, which is the green pigment of the plant cell. Chlorophyll is the site for photosynthesis, which is the process of food making by autotrophs such as plant. Next organelle, plastids. Plastids are double membrane organelles which are found in the cells of plants. This refers to coloring pigments found in the plant cells. These often contain pigments that are used in photosynthesis and different types of pigments that can change the color of the cell. Example, chromoplasts, red pigments, leucoplasts, white pigments, elioplasts, oily pigments, xanthopyl, yellow pigments, and lastly, carotene, orange pigments. Another example is chlorophyll, which are the green pigments of a plant cell. Next organelle, cell wall. Cell wall can only be found in plant cells. Cell wall specialized form of extracellular matrix that surrounds every cell of a plant. The cell wall is responsible for many of the characteristics that distinguish plant cells from animal cells. Cell walls allows plant to maintain its shape that provides rigidity. And lastly, we have lysosomes. Lysosomes are present only in animal cell. It's also known as suicide bug cell. Lysosomes are membrane and close bodies smaller than the mitochondria. They contain powerful digestive enzymes and are thought to function as the digestive system of the cell. Let's now move on to the keywords of the different organelles. For a cell membrane, we have outer layer. Cytoplasm, we have fluid matrix. For a nucleus, we have control center. Endoplasmic reticulum, we have transport system. Ribosomes, we have protein synthesis. For Golgi bodies, we have packaging center. Vacuole storage center. Mitochondria energy center. And lastly, Lysosomes Digestive System. For plastids, we have coloring pigments. For chloroplasts, we have contains chlorophyll. And lastly, for cell wall, we have maintains the shape. We have two types of cell, prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Prokaryotic cell is composed only of one cell, meaning unicellular, while eukaryotic cell as multicellular. Eukaryotic cell has nuclear membrane on it while prokaryotic cell it doesn't have. And as you can see on the structure, eukaryotic cell is larger compared to prokaryotic cell. A good example of prokaryotic cell is bacteria, while eukaryotic cell, plant and animal cells.